All right, guys and gals, let's start another project. This is the Micro Rocket Launch Pad by Lego. This is set number 40712, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And this is a gift with purchase offer. So between, let's see here, <laughs> um, February 19th, 2024 through February 25th, 2024, of qualifying purchases of two hundred dollars or more this set will launch right into your shopping cart <laughs> so if you spend that amount you'll get this set for free and that's pretty much what it is well free supposedly and for 325 pieces well, i don't know but this kind of reminds me of an old classic space station or a space set and we do have a little thing of stickers here I was hoping all this would be printed. It had been pretty epic. And yeah, and I had to read all that off. Uh, I hate doing uh, the GWPs, and since I have to read all that off, but since now Lego's providing that stuff with their review offers now, I can. I have to. I have to do it. All right. Despite the phone dinging off and everything else, we do have four bags of bricks. Yeah, isn't that? Bring back memories for some of us who've been around that long. Um, I forgot to uh, mention, though, it looks like this build is possibly a collaborative build. It means you can build with a partner. We don't know yet. All right, let's see which one is booklet one. Oh, here we go. And yes, we get baby spacemen. So those are going to be, a, I, I have a feeling people are going to get the set just for those. And I know somebody in particular would be real excited to see that. Well, let's open up bag one. And the whole intent of these style of videos is just to build the set and see what it is. And it gives Lego advertising. Yes, it's kind of the cheap way to do things, you know. Uh, it's easier to give somebody a product and say review it. And, well, just to make an announcement. Now, let's start that. That's not too bad. What is that, three pieces? Oh, the helmet is built on. Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I was expecting the head to be separate, but oh, no, it's not. It says only two pieces. I guarantee you a lot of people are going to be grabbing this for the baby figures. All right. We'll put him over there, or her. And this is pretty much uh, something that, you know, am I really into space? No, but here's the deal with this. This is this is type this is the type of stuff I grew up with as a kid. And as you can tell, the color palette is lacking, and that's how they were back then and such. Sometimes I wish I can just re-angle my viewfinder so I can see things a bit better, but now that's just how it is. And I've been working on some... Okay, they go here, right here in this area. I can't really tell. Well, I can't even get those in there. I'll show you here in a second because I'm fighting that already. And maybe it doesn't go there. I think it goes right there. See? Or does it go inside the tubes? You know, Lego, I never do this. Never, ever, ever. I don't know. When I'm fighting with the instructions, i got to start dinging points. Put one of these in the tube and show air one arrow going in would have been nice because I'm kind of questioning what you're doing here. Um... But I've been on kind of a tutorial frenzy. I got a bunch of tutorials filmed and I'm kind of getting stuff done for the most part. But it was, it's, it's not like I'm doing the big stuff. I did start the big bus project. I got it. I haven't started it physically, but I've been building it in stud just to kind of see where I can go with it here. And I've already got the pretty much the essentials figured out and then it's just a point of just transferred over to real bricks place the parts order 
for vehicle parts. We're going to try to build a few more vehicles. My goal is to try to shoot for 11 vehicles. They could be trailers, you know, anything that involves transportation, airplanes and stuff like that, and boats. I don't know what I'm building this summer, but it's always something different. And that's the whole intent, you know, to, to kind of explore my imagination. And, you know, I needed these for a project in blue, and here they are. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. I've been parting a bunch of sets, too. And I'm trying to find... Okay, I can't find it. Let's start sorting parts by color. Or put them in there by type and color. Put him over there. He keeps getting bumped around. I'm looking for another one of these. And by sorting all these sets out, I've actually got a bunch of parts. Matter of fact, I'm grossly overflowed. And remember in the past I've said, oh, you, you probably you probably uh, will never run out of stuff for Lego, like space, or you'll never not have enough. Yeah, I've got enough. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm kind of trying to cut back now ordering parts this is stuff that I absolutely need and that kind of thing and you know vehicle parts are kind of lacking and you got to put a sticker on them now I'm not a fan of stickers at all so now for 325 pieces, I decided just to go ahead and start keeping the unboxings with the main video. I didn't unbox the bags. The reason being is I'm getting to the point where I'm I kind of don't want to keep spending time editing videos. You know, if more people prefer to watch that, and that's crooked. The sticker is a slightly different shade. Lego, we're already dinging points already on this. Uh, this is a beautiful set. I was hoping it to all be printed. But I just, you know, I've been so busy with things. I was going to go on a surfing trip until uh, we've been hit with a bunch of storms out here. And I guess I'm just destined to be at home all the time because... I don't know. I mean, I was looking into going for a surfing trip, and then basically uh, the waves. And I mean, I'm a good swimmer, but not that good. And you've been hearing about the waves in the West Coast. Uh, been uh, pretty rough. And I'm just uh, like, well. Uh, maybe you know, maybe it is. I only got a month left off, and I go back in late February. And the thing is that no, oh, I thought these were hollow. I have chores that I got to get done. I got to get the car inspected and checked for correct emissions. I got to go to the dentist. I got to go to the eye doctor. I got a bunch of things I got to do. And that's what it looks like on the back there. And that's pretty much what it is. I'm going to be swamped with work. Oh, yeah, see, they are inside the tubes right there. So I'm just like, I don't know. I kind of want to do something fun, but it's, it's just a fact of, my schedule's just bogged down with chores. What were you doing all the time off? That was it. It's just storms and all this stuff happening. I had a buddy of mine says, oh, don't let that stop you. But I'm like, well, I don't want to. I, I treasure life a little too much right now. And I don't want to deal with it, you know. And That's not a bad little spaceship. And I'm assuming the little space figure fits in there. I think that's what the stud is for right there. Oh, there was two antennas, not just the one. And believe it or not, now this is already coming apart here. I'm trying to get this straight here. Most of these parts have been around since I was a kid. 
If you're into vintage space and you missed out because you were born too late, which um, I know there's a, some that are, this is about as close as you're going to get. And there's always been, why doesn't Lego release some of the vintage space sets for the younger generations to enjoy? I don't know. I can't answer that. I, I don't get it. I don't understand why they don't. It'd be nice. <laughs> Because uh, I'd be buying, because we didn't have tan back in the 70s and 80s. Unless you set it outside for 10 years and let it yellow out, but... So, so far... Let's see here. I think these are all separate pieces. So far, this is isolated. If nothing's connected to that little spaceship, that'll be one point there for collaboration. But yeah, I got a lot of chores to do before I have to go back to work. Um, I gotta find someone who's gonna be here throughout the day. Okay, something happens as I still have to be out of the house at least two days out of the week. That kind of thing, you know. And there goes that LED light again. I have to get a new bulb eventually. this box even have an age range on it? Uh, oh, nine years and up. Okay. A nine-year-old, I'm sure, is going to have fun with this, especially an adult like myself. You know, uh, this is this is bringing back a lot of flashbacks when I was a kid and having space sets. Of course, we didn't have all these cool parts like we do today. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, I've been really sorting a bunch of parts out. And... I'm trying to... get the Lego room or the Lego workshop, whatever you want to call it, all sorted out. A lot of the guys that I've... I know have full like just a full dedicated room just full of the stuff like in their basement and having too much is just I, I'm not and you know by all means guys I don't want to have an epic Lego collection I just want to have parts that I can build whatever I want <laughs> stuff that's interesting and that kind of thing I know there's some that just want every Lego set ever made. I mean, it'd be nice, but I don't want to. I don't want to throw away that kind of money right now on this. This is just a hobby. And you get to the point when you're uh, spending way too much and you're actually getting in the rears is where it gets to be an issue. Uh, I'm thankful that I... I don't go that far, but I know I've known some who've, who've actually spent a lot on Lego, where they kind of find themselves in a situation. And let's start picking these things up. I can always use these in blue. Matter of fact, I I was working on a project the other day, a tutorial, and I needed these. I mean, I, I I've already filmed it now, but. I could have used those in blue. I was like, I should have a couple of these. I didn't have any of them in blue. I don't think I did. And there where they were, right there. But I've, but like back to the story though. I mean, I've known some who, who, uh, wait, that doesn't go like that. Wait a minute, hold on. Am I messing up here? Let me get that off. 
Oh, okay, these are backwards. I got this one backwards. Uh, I've seen some where they're in debt just because of the hobby. All right, no bricks separate or provided, huh? And I have to get up and get one. I had stickers. Had a, the manual, so this will be an, an this will be almost at an eight because I got to get up and find a brick separator now. <sighs> Never one to be found. Okay, finally broke it apart. Okay, I mean that's my mistake, but still, I mean. I know someone else is going to do the same thing I did. So if you're going to build this, make sure you have a brick separator or have to get one. As this set is not nice, it will not provide one for you. But yeah, I mean, this is... In fact, I had to block a couple of people the other day on here. One on just a few of my videos was telling me to well, let's keep it friendly to hush up and just build. You know, right down here, it depends if you're on mobile or whatever, or you can put your phone on mute, but down here on desktop, there's a, there's a little slider. You can turn the sound all the way down, and you can just crank up your, uh, your piano music as loud as you want. You know, I'm like, really? And people take this stuff so seriously. And I have, I now have adopted a no a zero tolerance policy. I just block. I just don't have time for it. I mean, constructive criticism is welcome, but when, like, if I'm doing something with lighting or camera angles, I try to improve it. I can't do it on the videos, but I can always take notes and find ways to do things. Like I have the extra light on, so there's more lighting in here. But to get rude, that results in a permanent block, and I don't, I don't undo them. And I mean, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so this tilts up like that. Sorry if you really can't see the top here. And oh, the sign goes. It goes like that. So, so now we're going to need to tilt the camera up and yes I, there's no other way I'm gonna have to move it <laughs> well, maybe I'm gonna have to back it up I still get that comment from time to time I don't have a cameraman all right and I've had some say I build too slow because I'm too busy messing around with all this stuff yeah I don't have a cameraman so you just you just take what you get. <laughs> All right, so we got these two items done. It looks like these are isolated. But that's the whole goal, is to see how much of this is isolated from... So, you know, let's say, for example, you want to build with a partner or a girlfriend or your children. You can do that. At least it's... Uh, it's a space theme, so I'm sure everybody will have fun with this. Wow, these little train ladders. I haven't seen these in years. You know, I have some, even some in purple. But, yeah, I think I may have one in pink, but train ladders are kind of hard to get a hold of. Those have been around longer than I think I've been breathing. be the rocket ship. All right, uh, that'll be an eight. Yeah, I've been kind of grading hard on sets lately because I'm really kind of tired of getting up and having things fall apart. And why isn't there no shaft running in here? I don't know. Let's make sure that I forget a piece because I can bring the score back up. And no, there's not even a shaft that goes in there. Yeah, that'll be an eight then. And for this being a very a, a nice set, we have to put stickers on it. I forgot to put a sticker on this too. This should have been this should have been printed. Gotta see now. I gotta have to uh, kind of fight to get that on there straight. 
right there. And I think that's it. So this is obviously not really sturdy. You saw how it disintegrated. And we're not done with the rocket yet. I think that's what it is. I don't know. So I've been kind of working on some, I'm working on a new furniture, piece of furniture tutorial and kind of stumped. And it's pretty much half snot method. It's not friendly. It's going to be hard. Oh, I did get a parts haul. I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm waiting for it to arrive. I did get a bunch of these in red. They could have been the other ones. I can't remember which ones they order. I'm hoping they're the upwards ones. I do use them to wrap around wheel wells. And I'm trying to just trying to grab parts for um let's turn it like that. For vehicles. And if I get done with all this, I got to uh see if I can get my car inspected. Kind of a reason why I want to get electric because I don't want to have to deal with it anymore. And if you're in California, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We have some of the strictest air rules in in the country. And unless you have a car back from the mid-70s on down, you gotta go and have it inspected. Out here, people are driving these junkers because they try. They want to avoid it. Well, I don't want to have to spend lots of money, gas, and and, uh, and drive a boat around. It's not really my idea of having fun. The last time I went and got it inspected, I had to replace the catalytic converter. Here, people are getting their ripped out of the bottom of their car. People steal them out here like the hotcakes. And yeah. So up to this point the rocket can be built separate. You do have to put the rocket ship in but it fits right in here. But for the most part it is separate. I'd say so far if you really wanted to three people could build this. And out of all that, I don't know if we have some stuff. We got one, two, we got plenty of those. Did I forget something here? Yes, I did. So, I would honestly say today that this is not a bad little set to build. It's just kind of flaky, and that doorbell is not for me today. It's the home nurse. Hopefully I'll never get like that, to be honest. But there's the rocket ship. And now we can finally get back to saying this is what we have remaining here. There's a lot of little pieces in that. Look at all that. Not too bad. Okay, let's take a look at bag two. And yeah, so so far I'd say that these three, these items here can be built independently. So I'm going to say that it is possible up to three people can build this so far. That's pretty good. And what I'll do is I will do the, the formal review and tack it on at the end of this. Because I'm trying to compact videos. Ooh, that's got some nice yellow, transparent yellow pieces. How bad are those scratch here? We'll find out. Um, okay. But now we got to build another spaceman. And that looks okay. I like those. I don't know what I'd use them for. Setting those all aside here because I need to get to the spaceman parts. I mean, we've already deemed it down to an eight because it's falling apart, stickers. Uh, you know. I like this. This reminds me of the 70s and 80s space. Like, those right there alone just make the set. 
because I know the newer space they have the transparent black or dark gray stuff but oh, we got the control pad too and it's kind of got a metallic finish those I can always use yes I will be parting that out when I'm done I got too many Lego sets in my inventory that I really have nowhere to put all right so I'm assuming it's got the white head You know, if you really wanted to, and if you got, if you need to have a need for baby figures, and you get the set, they do have the regular heads that go on these, and you can just use this as a jumper or something for a baby. Yeah, <laughs> and now they got those outfits, you know, you know, the kids wear. Pretty much, that's what it would be. All right. But despite of this set already kind of having its flaws already. I'm not bored with it whatsoever. I'm a little tired. I probably had about six, six and a half hours of sleep. But for the most part, though, it's it's a very it's a very nice, relaxing build. It's just it's just got its imperfections. Yeah, we have the home nurse, and boy, she is a loud talker. <laughs> I know the other day. I, Every time I talk, like if I talk to my parents, girlfriend, whatever, they're like, I'll just start talking. Like, I can't hear you. You talk so low. On here, I, I have the gain turned up. But I'm like, I'm sorry. You want me to yell loud? Even my friends are like, man, you talk very low. Even after all these years, I still sound very low. And then they can't hear you, and you start, you start yelling. And then they get all mad at you. I'm like, I'm sorry. Okay, that's not too bad. I can't wait to see what this is like. You know what comes to mind? This is meant for baby figures. You get this set and you want to use it for your, let's say your Lego City. Oh, there's a tile tucked way back in here. This would be great for a toddler playground, a play area. Or if you really wanted to, um, maybe if you were doing a filming location or maybe something, I don't know. There's a lot of things that this set could be used for because it is a micro build. Uh, but they have the baby figures in it, so I don't know. It's just, it's an adorable little build. I did, already, I did one of these before, not this theme, but I did another gift with purchase offer. It wasn't a bad one to do. I always like these little sets. They don't take a long time to put together, and they're just all around fun. They're fun little builds. And I, I was reading on the on the forums um, on Reddit. People are disappointed about what they're seeing out there, and in terms of these gift with purchase offers and I'm like they're just a gift you know the Lego doesn't even have to give you any of those it's a good incentive to buy sets that you want like if you're saving up for a modular save up for that stuff I just kind of wish Lego would give you more of a heads up you know and I can't share these until they tell me to so I can't just say hey you know save your chips <laughs> I have to follow the rules but for the most part, though, like I placed an order. I only spent about $50 on parts. And I'll make four of these here. And to some, I know that's not a lot. Yeah, I still got to get my tax work done, too. I'm waiting for a bunch of forms to come in now. And then when I go back to work, then I have to do the work taxes. Put everything together and hand it off to my CPA to have her do it. Every time I do it, I get audited. So I thought, no, 
Nothing bad, just just an inconvenience of my time. It's easier to pay someone to do it anyways and say, here, you, you, do the, you deal with them. <laughs> I'm too busy. I gotta run a business. I don't have time to deal with it. Mm. That's why I don't like February. I hate it. Because I have car inspections. I got um, taxes, doctor's appointments. Everything is crammed into February. March, yeah, it kind of tapers off. And by the time April comes around, it's not too bad. And yikes, you got to put two stickers on one step. We're almost done with this, too. Sticker two goes on one of these and three goes on the other, and I can never get these on straight. I wish these were printed, though. It would have been awesome. They would have made great parts for a... I can't even see. That's just so crooked. I already dinged off for stickers, so... Especially on these little pieces. I know some of you say do this. Um, stick them on there like that. Let's try that. I can't remember your name, but thanks for mentioning that. I keep forgetting. Let's try it like that here. It's blue on blue. See, I can't get those on straight at all. They're so crooked. That's why it, these, these sets get so low. Here's the deal. If it's if it sets between a 9 and a 10, that's excellent. Uh, 8 to 9 is just considered an average set. Anything below that is pretty much a fail. You know... But, I'm, but at the end of the day, though, I'm thankful they gave me the opportunity to take a look at these and review them and advertise for them. So, like I said, is this worth spending $200 on to just get this in your cart if you're getting a modular or you're buying a lot of parts or something? Yeah, I mean, this is worth it. If you're into space, this would probably be a good little collector's, little good collector set to get a hold of. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It's I, I'm enjoying putting this together. Is it a waste of time? No. I don't feel like I've wasted my time. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm being honest with you. I've known some out there who will say, Oh, this is the best set in the whole wide world. Run out and go get it. And next thing you know, the next set they review, they say the same thing. Oh, boy, this is a good set. Go out and go get it. You know? I'm going to be honest, this is a good set. Go get it. That's only if you're into space. <laughs> but for me, I mean, am I into space themes? No, but just these, just this color's palette alone is what I grew up with. So just imagine just having Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons playing in the background. Would be cool. Well, we don't have Saturday morning cartoons anymore, sadly. I've already been into that rant a million times. <laughs> in fact, I've overflowed on transparent plates in my bin. i got to get a larger bin. Matter of fact, i got to order large shoe boxes just to do it. And you got to put a sticker on that. I just like the transparent yellow. It's just kind of cool. Just remind it gives me that old space feel. So bag two finishes up all the stickers. Honestly, though, if this was printed, it'd be one heck of a novelty piece. Just all this stuff were printed. Yeah, so I, up to this point, I have another set that I got to get done as well. But for the most part, everything that I've done has been to, uh, tutorials. Oh, that's nice. Look at that in there. What I'm going to do when I do the tour on this, because I'm going to do the tour and review, I'm thinking of. I don't know, I may just do a close-up on this one here. It's probably warranted for that. Yeah, 
Now, you know, I may just do a close up. Just put it on the. In fact, we don't even need to put this on a turntable, really. Just kind of set it up as is and then just talk about it. These have been around a long time, too, these type of little pieces here. A lot of these parts have been around a long time. A long time. There we go. I mean, they're nice, adorable little builds. A nice little model here to work to work with. Okay, and then there's an aerial that goes in the corner. Old classic space. Yeah. Kind of a shame Lego just kind of did away with it and the modern space honestly just it's modern it's just too clean this is just this is just what I remember space to be like and I know some are saying well Jay you got to get with the new times well I like the classic space I always liked it just kind of cool well take a nap then uh I mean just these colors alone just Brings out the kid in me. I miss being a kid more and more. Okay, fine, fall down, whatever. And that goes over here in this corner. Like that. But of course, if I'm doing a tour, I could just bring it up to the camera too. It'd be easier to do that. And that's it for booklet number one and so far I'm pretty pleased with it and that's what we have remaining there and yeah so I think you could just build all four of these and just be done with it at that point all right we're gonna move on to bag three and you don't need that anymore we'll put that on the floor it looks like bag three does that And no QR codes to scan in this one, kids. No QR codes. Ooh, this has got a lot of big stuff. Ooh, I can use those. Matter of fact, I'm working on a project now. I'm hoping there might be enough. I may be able to use those. So that's what we're going to build next. Oh, it's one of these goofy ones. You actually have to dump three bag or two bags out. Well, let's see. Do we need to dump them out or not? We'll keep building until we find out we'll use we'll have to. Usually the first five steps you'll have to unbox it. Okay, here we go. Just to prevent the tires from rolling around, we'll put them like that in the rims. But we'll see how far we can get here. So we made it to step two at that half and bag. Four. Technic plates, those have been around a long time too. This piece, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this build. I just wish it was not stickered and it was a little stronger. Usually micro builds you think they would be. Looks like an egg or a landing pad. We already know what it is, but steel. I thought maybe my door was open, but man, they are just loud talkers today. They have to go in there and see what's going on. Yeah, sometimes you notice there's pauses in the video. I have to get up, so I try to edit those out as best I can in my situation, you know. These are hard to line up here. All right. 
Yeah, I'm hoping that this right here is just an isolated part because if it is, this is really going to be cool. Then you can easily, because right now, one, two, three, four, that's four people that can build this real easily. A nice little group project to put together. Yeah. I did have my blood pressure and stuff taken. Everything was normal. Still got to go in for that stupid physical and screenings and all that stuff. That's the bad thing about getting older. Got to make sure the check heart light doesn't come on. <laughs> Car's got a check engine light. Now mine's got a check heart light. have those back then wait okay I see that's the beauty of those and you can hang this over and not have to worry I wish I didn't make tiles like that is that a little control pad okay we've seen this before there's a one by one tile that I, at the manual shows that it's printed but I'm trying to find it okay let's put the keypad on there first it shows a one by one tile right there. Right there. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, you know what? Step 10, you're going to have to open up the other bag. Uh, we were doing a very good run here up until that point. Well, let's grab that. So this will just be bag for Yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah. There it is, right there. So you do indeed have to open up bags three and four together simultaneously. The beauty about doing these style reviews versus everybody else doing their reviews just after the set's built, I get to experience it a bit more. Oh, I could use those for all sorts of make a great piece for like an arcade machine or something. I know some of you have mentioned you like hearing the inspiration behind it. Well, that's just what I see these parts in my in my mind at that specific time. Oh, that's cool. What if that's scratched? No, that's in really good shape. Look at that. I like those transparent yellow windscreens. Those are always fun. Hey, look at that. That's really cool. Really cool. All right. Well, I got two different types of clips. Let's start setting those over there. And all right, let's see here. Jay, do you ever get any free time other than Lego? Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, like I said, this week I kind of or last couple weeks before all the reviews start coming, I finished up all the review offers. And I just thought, well, I'm going to take a breather from Lego. So I played that Lego Fortnite, played some Minecraft, worked around the house, chopped some firewood, did some chores. But hey, you know what? They were outdoor chores, and I wasn't going to complain. I was watching a few clips from this TV show that used to call the the strictest parents and where the parents just sit there and let the kids cuss them out and all that stuff and let them smoke in the house and I, I was watching it thinking those are strict parents I mean, you haven't seen my parents they are kind of from the south and you know those kids kind of got away with a bunch I know if I did that I would have had a would have had a, a good stern lecture all the way up to a beating, and yeah, it's enough to deter me. My parents are being rough. They took away my TV for five hours and said, oh, you got to do your homework. Yeah. I was watching one clip where the kids are smoking in the house, and then the, this one, I guess this one kid was just telling off his mother 
calling her names, taking away his smokes. I'm like, he shouldn't be smoking in the first place. Stuff is nasty. Makes you age faster, too. You don't want to look old. Why do you think I get away with so much? I still get carded today. Why? Because I'm too busy breathing all that polluted air outside. <laughs> No, but I was like, oh, man. Uh, it's that starboard or port, but those are both red. Uh, you know, these little loudspeaker things. These have been around a long time, too. But palisade bricks, not so much. What, what am I doing here? I can't even get that in there, huh? All right. The bumpy log bricks. Yeah, but half these parts. Oh, Lego. But at least this is a micro build. I can at least excuse that there. We get two of those, too. You know, I'm short on steering wheels. The, the medium size, the two by two ones. Man, there's four of these? What are we driving here, huh? Is this... Is this where the spacemen get to control one wheel apiece? You all have to. Is it all? Is this like a cooperation thing? If you don't cooperate, you crash the vehicle. Yeah, I got to get that stand for the iPhone hooked up so I can. I'm trying to. Since I'm in a noisy environment now, not like I was before, I'm trying to find ways to film videos for. I don't have to have the, uh, you know, it doesn't pick up a lot of the background noise. Although maybe I should just to do that. Um, makes the videos less dry. This must be for the four steering wheels. <laughs> we don't know yet. We're going to have to find out here in a second. I'm starting to order some of these up very slowly, these 1x3s, in different colors, because I've been finding out those are a very handy piece. So I've been trying to order some just for, just for, just for fun, just to build stuff with. I thought I'll go through and think, oh, I should have a lot of those, because I don't in inventory them until I find out, like, oh, I only have, like, two of those. I need four of them and then I have to put them in my inventory and thinking okay well I need to order place an order for some parts and some of the sets that I get they don't give you a whole lot of parts so you just have to take whatever Lego gives you well, the steering wheels go like this this is this is a conference room so we all have to conversate while we're driving the spaceship so what do we do? We just have the wheels here. Or they could be control valves, too. To turn on and off you know, valves and stuff in the ship. Alrighty. I know the home nurse, I've talked to her a handful of times, and she always talks about her kid that's a skater dude, and like a skateboarder and dresses in the baggy clothes and all that stuff. I'm thinking, well, what skater hasn't? Although at one point in time, there was the skinny jean uh, craze. And we didn't, you know, when I was a kid, it was all about the baggy cargoes carrying the skateboard around. I miss those days, but you now too busy getting my car inspected. <laughs> uh. All right. I want to have a good weekend. It's always stormy when I want to go out and do something. Never fun. Yeah, this is, but this is not a bad little build. So if you're looking, for, if you get this, if you if you're lucky to get a hold of this set, you're not going to be a. Uh, 
You're not going to be shortchanged on the fun here. Not at all. So do I think it's worth spending that kind of money if you were in space? Yes. And i got to make sure I note that so when I do the the initial review, I can note that. You know, this is, this is pretty good for that. And let's make sure we're holding that correctly here. It looks like it goes right there, and it sits right in there. All right. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of the comments on here, and a lot of you said I've been helping you with the builds, and I noticed there's more adults getting into this now. It's, uh, you know, here's the deal. I mean, 15 years, 20 years ago, people would make fun of me for doing this, but now, today, Lego is more than just a kid's toy because now a lot of us adults that we've had this stuff when we were kids, you know, this is what we played with. It's, it, you know, compared to all the high tech stuff, Lego is primitive, but the one thing that you can do is you can explore imagination. You know, it's there's so much stuff to explore in your mind. It's that's what it is. And Lego's really good with that. Well, this this one here is pretty strong. I haven't had anything fall off of it yet. Oh, we got to make two of those. But yeah, if you get this set, this is not a bad little one here. You're going to have a lot of fun, except with all the roly rollies kind of going around here. But I think you will have a lot of fun building this set here. I don't know why my eyes are burning today. May need to take a nap. <laughs> And it's only uh, like 1.30 in the afternoon. Oh, and today is, I think, the 24th of January, 2024. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it is, you know. I was using one of my base plates for a project, and this was the new type green, and it cracked. Like it's just starting to crack, like brittle crack. And so I'm going to... I don't really use a lot of base plates in my builds, but they've been sitting inside of a sealed container. And... Yeah, for some reason, and I thought, you're kidding me, right? Yeah, you're going to have to put together some Technic. I, we were on a call last night, and there's this buddy of mine. He hates Technic like I do. He just doesn't understand it. He does. He says, Tim and Technic don't get along, and I don't blame him. He goes, I can't do Technic. Like, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're missing something here. Did I do something wrong? Oh, indeed I did. These are not supposed to be in here. It's the black one. Uh, these can be a bit of a chore to get out. Well, let's put this in here so I don't have to keep holding on to it. No, no, I don't ding, ding off from my mistakes. It's just the fact that there's no brick separator with this. Is beyond me. Supposed to put these, no, these in the shaft here. See, when it comes to Technic, I'm I'm slowed down to a crawl. House building, campers, that took a long time. I'm there's a lot of guys who really do good with Technic. I cannot. There's only a handful of items that I can build. All right, now we got to start installing all the tires on this, huh? Does it matter which way they go on? Mm. Um, 
the loo hole faces out, I guess. Huh? Well, that would make sense. You gotta put your roller skates together now. Yeah, but I've noticed more adults getting into this. Some are doing this with their grandkids. Some are doing it just to release really stress from work. That kind of thing, you know. That's mine is just stress from work, you know, and taking breathers from things, getting tires in the rims. <laughs> But for the most part, though, it's a nice hobby for all ages. Lego used to be sought out as a little kitty toy when I was a kid. That's what it was. Now it's, uh, it's like putting together a model airplane. Except when you're done, you can rip it apart and make something else. Yeah, so if you got arthritis in your hands, it's probably not for you because my hands are starting to ache putting tires in, on the rims. They want to do this. They want to buckle. Let's put that over there. I think this goes on the bottom down there. My fingers are turning red. Look at that. Yeah. When these get put on, I don't really ever rip them off. Although I can use these treaded tires. They work good for vehicles. The rims, not so much. It looks like you can shove these either way and it'd be good for different types of wheels. You know those 2x2 two two modified plates with bearing? Boy, my thumbs are getting a workout today. I wish there was just an easier way to put those on there without breaking body parts. <laughs> All right, you can have a lot of muscle. I'll put those on, and that's it for that. And doesn't quite tell you where they go, so we're going to have to guess. I'm taking it to go in these two holes right here. We will find out here soon enough. Um, Um, uh, is there a better picture of that or no? Um, you know what? I bet they go right there. See, you can see I'm kind of, I'm kind of struggling with this. It's, it's not user friendly. I understand where they're coming with this, but. Make sure it's like that with this, and this is facing here. It's hard. You're going to have to really have like ten hands. You're going to be like an octopus doing that. See, this doesn't even stay in there. Huh. Hold on. Let's take a look. Am I forgetting something? Okay, I am. Never mind. Okay, that's why I did it wrong. you got to put these two by... Get that you got to put these two by two things in there. I was messing with the technique all that time. I forgot all about all this here. Lego's got to be sneaky and put technique in these that can confuse you. All right, let's do that again. Kind of getting tired of working on the wheels part now, it's kind of getting boring. <laughs> and now it locks in place, and that's what it's supposed to now we gotta do that again, huh? Like that would be better. Just set it like that. I know if I'm having problems, somebody else is gonna have an issue too. Okay. When you're done it whoops. It looks like that. Very bouncy. It's meant to just like if you have your hand it'll Go over it like this, and I don't know. Yeah. We're not done yet, folks. <laughs> More train ladders. And there's one that goes on the back side, so don't forget that one, Jay. Yeah, I know, I got it. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm due for a nap today. I think I just need to exhaust, I need to recuperate a little bit. But I do need to get my car down. I'm gonna call up and see if I can get an appointment. My luck, you can come down today. It's not far from the house, but it's just, I kind of just, it's been cold and raining and stuff, and I don't want to deal with it. My luck, I go down there and it'll keep failing. If it doesn't pass, that's it. The vehicle just gets retired. At that point, you just retire it and send it to the junkyard. There's only one of these that go on the side here. All right, so it goes back on here like this. Just to have the, what is that, the ray gun or the camera? We don't know yet. Missing a skeleton arm, there you go. It's hard to show this really small stuff. Camera base. Okay, the arrow's kind of confusing, but it goes right there. On this short one right over here. And then the camera goes here. Let me make sure that's pressed down. And then how does that attach there? Oh, it attaches right there. Well, how is that supposed to... Do I, do I have the hand in wrong? Well, that's where I have it. Oh, I see. All right, I'll show you here. This is where I made a mistake, too. See, it's already coming apart. So if you're not careful with this really small... Well, the small turd, it's going to come apart. I'm trying to keep it as family-friendly as possible because I know some out there don't like the bad language. I know it adds more flavor to the builds, but I can't anymore. So I can't even get that to rotate. And this is barely hanging on. All this way, Lego, and you build this, and then it's starting to get really kind of questionable here. I, I, don't, I don't get it, but... Put the camera thing back in. That's kind of flimsy. I'd say this is going to be a 7.8 because it's just falling apart now. I'm serious talking about how sturdy this is, and now this is starting to come apart. Yeah, let's make sure everything's done correctly, and it is. See, they wanted that stud down there. Wouldn't they have put the stud in here? But instead, no, it's down there, and this doesn't have enough bite. Just like that. And let's see. Good, my thumb is done. I don't have to worry about that. So I would say up to five people but come, could build this, but I would say up to two. Comfortably, could be, it would be a very easy build. So person one gets to build bags one, two, and three, or bags one and two, and person two can build bags three and four, and that's what we have remaining. Not too bad. Now, do I put this on a turntable? Now, one of the things I like to do, other than my competition, if you want to call it that, I don't like to just, you know, script them. 
you know, I like to just set them up and be done with it. I don't want to have to make these, spend a lot of time on this build. And for the most part, it's not too bad. Let me set everything up here, and then we will probably do the review really quick. I may just come in really fast and do the review on these. Okay, just get everything situated. I'm not going to do the thumbnail until last. And that's pretty much about it. I'm just trying to get everything situated here. So I, I only want to do this one time. <laughs> I don't want to spend all day reviewing sets because I got a tutorial I'd like to kind of do tonight if I can get it done. I, got, I already got two vehicles built for this year, which is pretty cool. And uh, focus. And basically the rundown I'm going to do here is do my usual and we'll just take a look at each one up close. So what I'm going to do is just bring it up like this and just show what it looks like. And that's how I'm going to do it. And I think that probably will suffice for the review. Reviews should not be grotesquely long unless it's something that's got a lot of interior. This is just a little novelty piece. So I don't think I need to spend like half a day doing it. But for the most part, though... I think we are fine. What I'm going to do, let's see, are we bright here? That's good. And I think I'm going to break the video here, and then we'll continue on with the formal review, so I can just kind of mush it together and, and just kind of have this one finished up, but it's, it, it's pretty good. Here we are at the Micro Rocket Launch Pad. It's not a bad set. It was pretty fun to put together. Let's start right here with our little baby figures. And yes, they look like little toddlers with the space helmet and oxygen tanks and stuff. And I thought these were all separate, but no, they're just a, a pre-molded head with everything attached to it. Make great costumes for baby figures. And right here we got ourselves a little spacecraft. And as you can tell, they're outfitted with a jumper plate. So you can place your space babies in there. There you go, see? Now this is obviously meant to be a micro build, but personally this would make a great little ride for a well, somebody. <laughs> can I even get that out of there? No, let's see here. Oh, there we go. So they're kind of hard to take out. Uh, this is a nice little set for maybe a theme park or maybe a ride or even a baby nursery. That's essentially what it is. And sadly, that's a sticker. A lot of the stuff is stickers. I was hoping it all to be printed. And that's pretty much what it is. They're just a little spacecraft. And we'll put that out of the way here. You also got more jumper plates in there. This is some kind of observation tower. I like the transparent yellow. It gives it that old school Lego space vibe. This is the same space I kind of grew up with when I was a kid. And that control pad there is is printed, but that's a sticker and all that stuff. And some of these pieces do come off. Uh, this build is, is averagely built. We'll get into that in the review, but not too terribly bad with that there. And we got this ground rover thing. And yes, you can stick your baby spaceman in there too. And it's pretty cool. And what this thing does, it's got the camera. This is kind of fragile, so we've got to be careful with that. So I don't want to mess with that too much. So it's meant to receive those stations. Or it could be used as a ray gun. We don't know. And that's pretty much what it is. It's pretty fixed. But the tires, you know you got to be careful when you're building these because I, I messed up a couple of times. And there's your rear rockets and stuff. and but It's outfitted for the space babies. And then we have the rocket, which it's just very small. This does detach. I wish that was printed, but it's not. That's essentially what this is. And here's the launch pad. 
And all in all, it's just a nice little display piece. It's that's what it is, nothing more. And we're going to start in the review with my build experience. And despite this being a micro build, it was actually enjoyable to put together. I think it's because it is a space theme, and this is what the same color palette what I grew up with, and I was really happy with. And just trying to get things fixed in the video here. But I enjoyed putting this together. It was a very fun, relaxing build all around. And you do, do, do get the two space figures as well. Uh, I probably bet you some are going to be collecting those up. Those are really nice figures just to have. So I think the build experience is pretty good with this. Build quality is average. I did have the rocket come apart. This will come off. So it's... It's averagely built. Now, despite this is a micro build, it is playable because you got two figures. You can put them in and pretend that you're flying around and defeating all the aliens and stuff. So it does have play potential just for a micro build. As for mock value, well, just imagine this being in some kind of a theme park for, for kids. All right, so if you're building something like that, like this would make a great little play area and this would make a great play area. Just imagine having this on one of those little spring things you'd see like in the in a park where they'd have the like a duck or something where they're on the spring. Put that on a spring thing and just have the little baby figures enjoy bouncing around on it. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> That's what I see that being used for. So it could be used for a city build as well. And these almost look like they'd be scaled for minifigures, but they're not. But you could still place these in your city. I can see these being used basically as just maybe statues or something to enhance a city build. So mock potential and city drop in value, it's there. It, it depends on how you use it. Like I said, this would be a great little, uh, little play area for kids if you want to do a space park. Sadly, the set is missing one thing to aid in the build, and that's a brick separator. So before building this set, get a brick separator to help construct this set I had to use one a few times to take things apart and you're talking small pieces so it would really be a big help for this so it is recommended to at least find a brick separator it's a nice little tool but sadly this set did not come with them all in all this is a really nice set to construct it did keep my interest for the most part I wasn't getting bored with it it was just a fun set all around so my final score on this set and sadly I have to do it is a 7.8 because I did have this come apart, it was stickered, and no brick separator. I think the stickers are what killed it. I had a hard time putting them on the small slopes and on that right there. I'm really surprised I managed to get that on there straight, but the stickers kind of just ruined this set. I don't know, I just, I just wasn't too happy with that. I, when I saw it on the box, I thought, oh, these are all printed. This would make great parts for mocks. No, these are just stickers. I mean, you could still use them for mocks, but... For the most part, it is a nice gift with purchase offers. So, just as a recap, from February 19th, 2024 through February 25th, 2024, for qualifying purchases of $200 or more, this set will fly right into your cart. If you like it or not, it'll still be there. So, I mean, honestly, this is a nice little gift with purchase offer. Or, of course, if you uh, are a member or you have early access, it's February 16th, 2024, through February 18th, 2024. But it's a nice little set to grab. I'm, I'm really hoping this becomes on retail, because I'd like to maybe get another copy of this, maybe for a gift. But tell me what you think of this gift with purchase offer. To me, I do see a lot of people actually going to be snagging this one up, and I think it's going to be due to these two little figures right here. But tell me what you think of the set.